Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm here to bring you my drugstore haul. If you saw me on Instagram or on Keek last week, then you saw that I went to Rite Aid for foundation and I ended up with uh, well over $100 worth of stuff. Um, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that, but um, I did. So let's just get right down into what I got. I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. So the first thing I got, which I've already used, is the Cover Tox 10 by Physicians Formula. And it says it's supposed to be like a wrinkle reducing powder. I'm not really sure what the validity is on that claim, but I am going to research that for you and let you know. It comes in this little case and it says Cover Tox 10 Wrinkle Therapy Face Powder. And it just pops open like that, and underneath it has, of course, the cheapy little brush that they give you, which I will never use. So, maybe I will. Never say never. So it just looks like that. It's a very, very creamy, doesn't have any smell to it. Um, I use a big fluffy brush when I'm, when I'm using it, and I've only used it a few times, so I can't really tell you whether it's working or not, but I have seen it, and that puppy was like 12 or $13, so, um, it better work. I better like these and my wrinkles over here, they better be gone. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and then next from Physicians Formula is the Conceal RX. I saw Samantha Sherman use this on one of her Get Ready With Me videos and I wanted to try it. They only come in two colors. It come, this one is a natural light and I think the other one. And it says it lasts up to 12 hours. I have used it and it is so thick. This is totally a full coverage concealer. So you do not need a bunch of it. A little dab will seriously do you and then blend with your finger. And then if you wanna blend with your beauty blender, then that's fine, but just be careful. This, it spreads easily and it's thick. Like it's very, very thick. So again, this was pretty expensive. I think this was like eight or $9 at the drugstore. And then I, what I went there for was the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. It was buy one, get one half off. And I got the colors 832, which is nude beige, and 842, which is medium beige. And today I am wearing this one, 842 medium beige. Now, um, I have this new lighting, so I'm not really sure what it looks like right now, but um, some of you were saying that my other one was definitely um, too light for me. I will agree with you that I, um, it's starting to get springtime and I'm not as pale as I used to be. I'm still definitely in the pale category, but, so I picked these two up. I may be doing like a combination of them, but buy one, get one half off. I just, I couldn't help myself, but, Speaking of things that are buy one, get one half off, Revlon Lip Butters, and I picked up the colors Lollipop and Cupcake. I am wearing Cupcake, but it's been hot here, but it doesn't explain why this just happened. I kid you not, I was getting ready and I went to go put this lipstick on. I haven't been outside. My makeup has not been in the car or anything like that, but look, I went to put it on. Can you see that? It is like A, all over the place, and B, totally crushed. I don't know what that's about, but I ended up having to use a lip brush to put it on. I'm not excited. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna stick it in the freezer because I think that'll kind of like help meld it back together. And then the other color I'm obviously not wearing today, and this one is in Lollipop, and it's this really, really beautiful magenta-y color, but it's not as pigmented as you might think. I mean, Still pretty dang pigmented but um, I just think it's really really gorgeous it's in the pink family it's just more of like max girl on top except obviously it's not anywhere near the quality of that one but it's still a really nice one if you just want to like pop it on they're very moisturizing and they do kind of tint your lips just a little bit in a good way but I think that they're great so they're buy one get one half off so I don't know, I just did it. And then also I was <laughs> kiki my friend Stephanie. If you don't follow me on Kiki, you should. K-E-E-K, -E -E -K. it's an app for your iPhone and they're like 30 second videos and you can send a video to me personally and I will see it and I can send one right back to you personally. It's so much fun, I, I can't help watching it. And Stephanie, little lady Lowry was like, Oh, uh, what color should I get? I don't have any lip butters. I always go but I never buy any. So I was there and I kiki her and I was like, I'm getting these. So. Anyway, segue. Let's get back on track, people. We've got Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner, and this is in the color Pure. This one right here. And I will swatch this bad boy for you, and it is 
of matte, deep coral. It's not red, um, and the packaging on the Rimmel things tend to be a little bit misleading. Um, I thought it was going to be more in the pink, but it's definitely more in the corally, almost in the dark nude category. And then this one I thought was going to be in the pink category, but it's more in the nude. I did use it to line my lips before I put on the cupcake. Um, and it, this is in the color East End Snob. The thing about it though, is it's supposed to be pink, but it comes out a little bit dark nude, which is fine because you can use it with so many different things. So it's totally okay that it ended up being this more darker, darker pink nude instead of more, I thought it was gonna be a lighter pink. That's cool, I'm fine with it because you can use it with a lot of different things. And then I saw the Maybelline Color Tattoo Limited Edition display. Now, I don't even wear color tattoos. I've got three and I don't ever wear them. I didn't like the texture. I don't, I don't, I didn't, ugh. I just felt like as a primer, they weren't really that great one way or the other. Ugh. But I get sucked into these stupid limited edition displays and I'm like, oh my god, it's going out. I'm not going to be able to have them anymore. Like, Amy, you don't even, you don't even use the ones you have, Amelia. Why are you grabbing more? It's so stupid. And I guess it was because I was watching another geek of um, Laura from Miss Lola Lynn, and she was saying how hard it was to find them. And I walk into Rite Aid, and they're smacked up in my face. So what do I do? I grab three of them. I have the Icy Mint. I have a Cool Crush, and I have Lavish Lavender. I'm wearing Lavish Lavender under here and I don't even know if you can tell. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna just show you the Liz and not show you what's inside. Now, this one is La I Cool Crush, and it is a bluish, sea bluish, like sea foamish, mermaidish color. It's very mermaidish. It's got a purple tint to it, but I definitely wouldn't call it the lavender one. So, it's like that, and then, it's definitely more like when it comes off it's got a purple base to it but it's also got hints of blue and green so it's really really pretty it's so pretty if you were creating like a mermaid look or that day you wanted to be a mermaid <laughs> aren't there days you just want to be a mermaid I, I don't know so this one is lavish lavender and it is the one that I'm wearing today and is definitely more more purple but you know what I put it on and it came out on my eyes more sheer. Look at that. I don't like. <gasps> see that? See how it's like purple? I don't know why I did away over there for you guys to see. Like that? <laughs> but it's really pretty swatched on my arm. But I felt like when I put it on my face, it, on my face, on my eyes, I didn't get that. And maybe it's because I put other colors over it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just like so <sighs> about stupid color tattoos. And I mean stupid in the way that you say like, mm, my brother's so stupid. You love him, but it's stupid. <laughs> That's the exasperated kind of stupid. That's what I meant by it's stupid. They're not really stupid and if you love them then I don't know, maybe I could tell them to you because I'm not even sure I'm ever gonna wear them. On, I use my finger, I put alcohol in it after I'm done every time. I just, I just don't know if I'm gonna keep them. I may give them away. I may sell them. I don't know. I may wait till they're unavailable and then sell them. How do you like that? Okay, this video's getting goofy. This one is the Icy Mint and it is the Seafoam Green. And I don't know where I'm gonna wear it. I feel like these are mermaid colors, honestly. Okay, how am I gonna do this for you guys? I'm swatching it, I'm swatching it. And this one is so sheer, but it's got these awesome like, see that? You can see that. Okay, so see how it's like seafoam green? It reminds you of the little mermaid. It reminds you of being like at the beach and the sand and Ariel and the seaweed and stuff like that. So it is definitely got greenish blue tones. I would say definitely more, um, what's the color that I'm looking for? I don't know, light green, I guess. Seafoam. When I think of seafoam, I think of this color. And I live by the beach, people, so I know what sea foam looks like. All right. This haul went goofy. It just went one, it just went in a goofy direction. So I'm sorry about that. If you like the goofiness, welcome to the world of Amelia because this baby is who I am. So I filmed a tutorial on this hair 
This is a Numi 25mm titanium curling wand with extensions. If you want to see that tutorial, you stay tuned to this channel for the rest of the week because it will be up. I hope you enjoyed this goofy haul video and there will be lots more to come. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!